let's say that you have some clothing on your figure and no matter how hard you try it's just not bending the way you would like it to bend so with shorts let's go ahead and just take a thigh band what if it just didn't look right well you have a couple options here what if it just there was poke through in there and you tried with weight maps and bulge maps and you just could not get it fixed and you, you just need to fix it so you can build it you could build a JCM a joint corrective morph so that's a morph that would apply when you have a joint rotated uh, that's probably the the best thing you can do uh, if nothing else is working you know that's what you've got but what if you know, maybe you want to make these shorts hang down more naturally so they look like gravity is affecting them when the leg bends forward we can do that as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this leg uh, you know just for fun I'm going to make it an even number negative 90 okay and I'm going to go in in a modeler and I'm going to make these shorts hang down a little bit and then we'll load those in as a joint corrective morph to apply whenever the the left thigh bends up like this before I export it and work on it let me show you how I'm going to export it okay I've got the figure posed and I've got the clothing on there and what I need to do is I'm going to export the shorts and the human uh, out into OBJ and I'll use the human figure as my reference because I don't want to cause problems with my JCM like maybe make it poke through the leg or anything like that so I do need to have both of them but I'm going to separate them out and I'm going to export the shorts out as they are before I do that let's just make sure that these aren't sub D shorts or something like that and the resolution is base so we're good there mesh smoothing that can be on it's not going to matter because it won't export um, as it is unless I turn interactive update on so I can go ahead and export these I'm going to export that to OBJ and I'm just going to go ahead and name this JCM morph what it's going to be called in the end right now so this is the L so JCM as my prefix and then L by bend up uh, forward so this is a JCM L thigh bend forward for the shorts save that and then I'm going to hide the shorts and have the figure selected and I'm going to make sure his resolution is set to base because I don't need to have high resolution when I export them out I would just slow down my efforts in the modeler. So now I can just whatever. Doesn't matter what I call it. And then export that out. I'm exporting these out at Daz Studio scale uh, because if there's no scaling involved on the export or the import, it seems like precision is a little bit better. Uh, but you may want to export it out to a scale that works for your modeler. I don't know. I prefer just to keep it the same scale so I don't have to worry about causing any problems. Now I'm going to go on the modeler and I'm going to create a JCM. Okay, so now here's the original mesh and here's my morph. Kind of hangs down. It's not pretty, but just to show a point, prove a point here. Uh, so I've got that and I'm going to export that out as an OBJ and load it in through Morph Loader Pro. Okay, come back in to. Daz Studio and let's make those shorts visible again. We want the shorts selected and we go to More Floater Pro. You can click this uh, button over here or if you don't have that you can go under Edit, Figure, More Floater Pro. And we're going to go ahead and choose the morph file. Uh, when I saved my morph back out from my modeler I just overwrote my original one, my JCM L5 Bend Forward. Let's just do that. Load this up. Now, when you're loading in a JCM, you're needing to reverse out the leg bend. We don't want the leg to bend every time, or we don't want this morph to include the leg bend because that would just mess everything up. So we will say reverse deformations and accept.
and we can see we have separated the morph out so it just hangs down. Now with the JCM you rarely want it to apply in the negative as well so you should just remember to go into parameter settings and set the minimum to zero when you load these in. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to dial up this morph and you have the leg band going on and then we're going to go to the the L thigh band on the shorts. Okay. Even though it's not showing a value of bending, it's following the L thigh bend on the figure, right? So you go here and you right click on it. I'm in edit mode, so right? So you can right click in your in your parameters pane and go to edit mode. And right click on this property and say ERC freeze. And it'll list the property right here, X rotate the bend. That's great. And then it shows here the left thigh rotation. That's you want to remove that. That's actually a, of the figure itself and we don't need that. But what we do want is the rotation or the application of this JCM when the rotate happens. So if I hit accept now, the figure's been reset. We go and we bend the left thigh and the morph applies. We can verify that by going on the shorts and look and see there you go, the morph is applied. If we dial this back a little bit, maybe that far, and we look at the shorts, we can see it's only partially applied. So how JCM works is wherever we loaded that morph in, in this case with the left thigh at the negative 90, then the morph will be applied at 100% right there. From now on, whenever I bend the left thigh, it is going to apply this morph on the shorts. Oh, and real quick before I go on this video, uh, there's one more thing you need to remember. When you have a JCM, you're going to want to put it in a good spot. So this JCM not only needs to be moved to correct group, but also I need to set its type. So what I can do is go here to the parameter settings, and you can see it says type modifier shape. I should change that to modifier corrective. And for kicks, I'm just going to change the color. Normally, our standard is we do this black and red thing. It's just so it looks different is all. It's not completely necessary. And then the path. Normally, what we do is there's a hidden. So I'm going to go for path. I'm going to do hidden. And then JCMs. And then... I'm going to set this property as hidden, hit accept, it's gone, and if I show hidden properties, I've got my property hidden under there, and everything should be all set up correctly. This is definitely our standard way of doing JCMs, and is appreciated when you do it this way, so that users don't have to be looking at these morphs that uh, there's no reason for them to see, because they automatically apply as joints are rotated. And once that is done, to save it, you just either save your whole, save the shorts again, or you can actually just save the more. And you would do that by going up here, file, save as, support asset, morph asset. And my folder would be beta library, product name. I'll just do base. And then you find the morph. Okay, you check that and say accept. Now the morph is written out, and next time I load my shorts, this will automatically apply and automatically follow the joint rotations. And that's it.